How's it going? I'm Visionary. This is Visionary Dex, and today I built a Siren Song deck with Samura Fizz. Now, if you've been playing Eloir over the last couple of weeks, you either love Siren Song or you absolutely despise it. Personally, I thought it was just going to be a funny card and I was going to build some cool meme decks with it. I'm actually super surprised by just how strong it is. Not a big fan of the whole Targon Zolani playstyle myself. So I thought it'd be fun to build some Siren Song decks in different regions that win the game without Zolani. And I know this is going to sound like I'm exaggerating, but I genuinely believe I've stumbled upon a Siren Song deck that is just the best Siren Song deck in the current meta. I have something like a 90% win rate over the course of like 25 games with this thing. And every game is over in like five minutes. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Now, honestly, Siren Song decks are not too complicated. There's not a whole lot going on here, except for the Darkened Ballista. Not only is this a one mana plus two attack equipment, which is just already good on Fizz or Samira, you can actually play Siren Song, drop this on a Husk, then drop Fizz, he will be a 6-3, and then you get to play Ballista back on Fizz the next turn, and he will be an 8-3. <laughs> turn 4, Fizz will be an 8-3. So obviously that's part of the reason this deck is insane, uh, because we get to play Ballista on the Husks, and the Husks recycle Ballista's stats into permanent stats that are baked into the units, and then we still get to replay Ballista and essentially duplicate that plus two for only one mana. That's not bad at all. We're also playing Ransom Riches as a three of in this deck. Reason being, as long as you have two mana, you can always just get a guaranteed one drop, which will most of the time be from a different region. So you get something like Lonely Poro, Divine Clerk, and Ionia Elusive. This sort of just lets you get access to cool one drops that you wouldn't normally have access to. It's sort of like a double trouble, except you just get to choose the unit that you want to get, which makes it a little bit more reliable to help you close out games when you really just need like that last three damage from an elusive. Other than that, there's really not anything else too special going on in this deck. It's just good. It's just a good Fizz Samira deck. And it's only my first stop in my quest to build a Siren Song deck in every region. Also, quick side note, today's games were recorded in between matches of a tournament. I was actually playing this deck in a tournament, but every single match it got banned. So just like playing it in between matches while I was waiting for my next one. Uh, so if you hear me talking about any tournament stuff, that's why. But today's games were so spicy, I still had to upload them to YouTube. Hope you enjoy. Here's game one. I played against this guy last night. He's actually, um, he's insanely lucky. He's just got the Giga Luck which makes me very worried. But okay, so in this deck, actually, I don't even know if we keep Samira in this deck. I think we still just full mulligan for Siren Song. That's how good Siren Song is. <laughs> like, if Siren Song is hiding behind my Samira, I think I'll just take a Siren Song and then win with Fizz instead. That's so funny. It was, it was actually one of those scenarios where it literally was... All right, uh, you guys want to see just how disgusting this deck truly is? Prepare yourselves. I hope you are prepared. You're going to need to be prepared. <laughs> this is going to be disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. All right, I'm sorry in advance. Question is, so I have double Siren Song. Do I stack? Oh no, dude. Where's this luck for my tournament? I, I can't be using all this luck right now. I need to save this luck for my tournament. I can't just have this kind of luck in an, in an off tournament game. What is this? Oh, that's unfortunate because I was, I was going to give this to Fizz. I think I still probably give this to Fizz, but we'll see. I'm going to pop this on here no matter what. We'll wait and see what he does. I might drop Mariah Wardens on this instead, depending on how things go. Now I'll just push six damage this turn. Seems good to me. But yeah, this is this is the main thing this deck is built around is just recycling Dark and Ballista, because I get the that two mana buff the first time off the husk, and then I can actually play it a second time to just get even more value. Uh, hitting for six is definitely worth more than just challenging this. So go for that. I I, I think I think like this guy a hand probably just wins me the game, unless he unless he top deck Telstones. It is interesting to know that, like, anyone would want of Targon Telstones in the stack. I, I would not have expected that. Oh, dude, no! That's insane! What in the world? <laughs> he 
can't just have a quick attack, Steve. I should have thought of this. Oh, that's so bad, actually. All right. I mean, we've got so much value, we probably still win, but that, that feels terrible to just lose this here for no reason. Sink or scream. Man. I hate that. That's a that's a big feels bad. You know what? Maybe it, maybe it is a good... Dude, we're, we're literally tied right now. Maybe it is a good thing that uh, this is not a tournament match, huh? Maybe it's a good thing. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I just lose. I actually just lose. Like, I think he's actually just won the game. Because now he just gives everything vulnerable and pulls it in with quick attack. And I just like, oh, oh well. Sorry, man. He's, he's going for the greed of second Siren Song first. Um, this is where we might be able to beat him is just by going wider this turn. That's insane. Why does it have plus two? Oh, I already played double Siren Song. I didn't realize that. Yeah, let me just uh, let me just go wide real quick. <laughs> this is still like enough damage to probably win me the game. Sorry, man. Sometimes it's just better to go face. Sometimes face is just the place. Wow. I mean, even even with um, even with Fizz dying at the start, we're still just steamrolling this guy. The only thing that could save him here is if he drops the one drop Divine Clerk, which obviously he doesn't have because he could have played it that turn. And look who's back. Look who's back. The stubby little man himself. With no fur. He's completely hairless. Everything a girl could die for. She's gonna, you know, casually drop another siren song. <laughs> She's gonna casually drop another one. Little little uh little 12 attack fizz coming his way. No big deal. Sink or scream. Uh this does feel bad though. This is really unfortunate that he's able to do this at all. It's like kinda cringe. Pass. They're all welcome. I will pass. Shame how Riot fumbled the game so badly. Why is the LOR Twitch scene so dead? I haven't played the game in a while. It's just because Riot Games is such a big company, and for some reason, they treat Legends of Runeterra like it's made by a completely different company. Also, what is this play? What in the world? If they if they literally just like made YouTube ads for Legends of Runeterra, advertised Legends of Runeterra inside the league, like the game would be doing perfectly fine. <laughs> but I don't know. They've just decided, eh. Do we really need to do that? And they've decided no. No, they don't, apparently. So since Fizz can win the game on his own, I think the plan here is we're going to drop a separate unit with ransom riches. I just need something that Oh Let's my god, dude, stop it! No. No. What is that? Now I can't win. I actually just lost. I think I actually just lost this game. I have to drop Shell Shocker on this. This is so cringe, man. What in the world is this game? His husks are like perfect. Literally perfect timing. It's insane. But does he not have... You tell me he doesn't have an elusive. Does he just not... He doesn't have a single unit to play on this. There's no shot. His entire hand is only spells. Who is this man? What is going on? So what is happening? Uh, wait, Grant the weakest enemy vulnerable? Yo. Yo. Yo, and the Fizz level up from Ambush Zero? Oh no, he doesn't level up, but still kind of cool. I actually, I do feel like Fizz with Ambush would probably be a sick deck. I should try that. Fizz, Sharima, Ambush... Siren Song. The problem is none of the ambush units. Ooh, that's why he was waiting. Uh, okay, we still win. Luckily, we still win. Thank goodness. As long as everything, every single unit that can hit face hits for three or more, we win. GG. <laughs> but that was insane. I was like, why is he waiting? Why is he waiting to play his unit? I thought surely he had a hush, but it was just so long. He was just getting greedy and he wanted an elusive so long. All right, man. Nice. No Siren Song. <laughs> All right. I mean, eh. he's Fizz. What can I say? He's Fizz. We'll just drop the, we'll just drop the Fizzster. Question is, do I open attack? What are the odds they have a two drop? Probably pretty good. He's got a two drop. 100%. Zero down in my mind, this man has a two drop. 
He's he's obviously he's he's waiting to play it <laughs> because he has his siren song and so he wants to play his two drop after his siren song. Don't don't make don't don't make me look bad. Play your siren song. Play your siren song and then play a two drop on top of it this turn. Play your siren song and then play a two drop on top of it this turn. What did I tell you? He had a two drop. I told you. He always has a two drop. There was. <laughs> That's obviously why I didn't play Dark and Ballista last turn. Come on. We tend the fire uh. and hope for her return. Uh. <laughs> that feels real bad. I don't like that. That does not make me feel warm and fuzzy inside. That's for sure. Do I double trouble now? I feel like we send it, but I'm gonna pass. We don't have Siren Song active, so it's not even like this does much. I'm just gonna wait. We'll play Steam and we'll use this as like vulnerable, vulnerable triggers. All right. It's probably like drop Steam, double trouble. I kind of want to play Stylish Shot, but probably wow, double might. That's a weird hand. I mean, at least we get to give this vulnerable. That's kind of cool. I think we just want to drop. Here we go. Okay, double trouble. Ah, oh, that feels so bad to have Fizz. Oh, Fizz is dead, dude. Fizz is dead. Wait, <laughs> the one turn I'm actually incredibly happy <laughs> to, to get a fire up. It's insane. So hold on, let's let's go for this. I'll pull I'll pull the one three with steam on our first attack, and then we can hit face with steam on our second. That's actually insane. That was like the perfect rolls. What in the world? Seven damage. Oh, but I heal. I should have pulled his life steal first. <laughs> I should have. There is no doubt here. I should have pulled his life steal first. That's my bad. Ooh, finally someone showed up. <laughs> Look who got here. A little late to the party, but you know I'll take it. I'm always ready to play. Always. Are you sure about that though? Are you sure you're ready to play when I have Siren Song and you don't? I don't know if you are. <laughs> I'd I'd beg to differ. Perhaps you are not always ready to play. We're gonna get we're gonna get a double husk on something here. Hopefully we get a good top deck. Wait, but 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 it already has vulnerable though. <laughs> it has vulnerable. <laughs> You're just gonna kill it this turn. What are you doing? <laughs> it had vulnerable. <laughs> what what was the point of that? Explain to me what how that made yes, any fight. sense. It didn't. The answer is it didn't. It didn't make any sense. Uh, all right, so we can give Ev we can give Evelyn vulnerable. She already has vulnerable, actually. What am I saying? I needed to. There it is. I needed a good top deck here. Oh, dude. The amount of value I'm about to get with this Samira <laughs> is off the freaking charts. This is why I love this deck so much. I shouldn't even have access to this overwhelm equipment. That's just like ridiculous that I have that. Check out the value, right? Check it out. Watch the value. Too big. That's too big. That is too big for any unit. No unit should be this big for two mana. <laughs> what in the world? What am I looking at? It's insane. Uh, you know, we'll just deal one. Who needs challenger? Deal one again. Or scream. Kills Evelyn. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Re regen overwhelm Samira. Pretty nice. <laughs> with the, with a hand like this, I don't I don't really see how we lose this game. I'm gonna be honest. This feels pretty sick. This is a okay. It's a little much as far as equipment goes. Though, I'm gonna be honest. It's like kind of more equipment than any one player could ever use. Wait, is Samira dead though? Is Samira actually still dying? That's insane. So how can I level her? Can I play four cards this turn? One, two, three. I don't think I can level her, unfortunately. I'm going to just see if he makes a misplay. I'm going to drop a Darkened Ballista on her. There's power in water. Either way, this is still correct because it kills him. But yeah, okay. So we can't, we can't quite save her this turn. 
It's unfortunate. That's crazy. Dude, look how big she is and she's still dying. That's so sad. If my, if my hand was just like a little bit cheaper, we might have been able to, to level her up, but... Wait, what? No. No. Okay, I gotta kill him here. I gotta might. I think that's GG's, actually. We just win with the scout attack next turn. Sick. All right. Yeah, so I'll just... I'll probably put, um... I'll probably put Darkened Ballista on Steam. Or Fishawack. Let's go Fishawack. A little Fishawacking. We hit four, five, six on the first hit, and then we just gotta do two more. Sink or scream. Yeah, we have Burst Lethal in hand. GG's. Dude, this deck, I feel like, is insane. Is it not? <laughs> I feel like the Darken Ballista Husk thing is just nuts. Because to be able to buff a Husk for two mana, the fact that they, they buffed this equipment, you used to have to like deal one to your Nexus every time you played this, which would be terrible. But like, you know, now, now you don't have to do that. It feels kind of good. It feels like a great. There's just no reason not to play that equipment in this deck, though. GG's. Uh, Lurk is interesting. Double Shell Shocker, I think, is a really good start for Lurk, just to have, like, early blocks. Maybe not, though. Like, early blocks are not good against Lurk. You don't want to block when they're doing 2 damage. You want to block when they're doing, like, 8 damage, you know? But I don't know. I guess every unit we block early game is a unit that could be doing more damage later on, so still correct to block it early. Yeah, this is still good. It's still good. We're fine. We're still good. I don't think so. Yeah, so if I could just top deck a Siren Song. Honestly, this I think this is a winning hand. <laughs> I mean... When you're visionary, you're visionary. What can I say? Ah, And when you... Wait, he pre-facepalmed. <laughs> oh, man. He is visionary, too. Oh, you know, I'll let him hit. I'll let him hit. I don't even care. You, you hit, bro. You hit. You deserve it. Miss Lurk hit, hit one damage for free. The visionary special. I got you, man. Ah, uh, he ain't missing this time. He's back with a vengeance. He's back in black. What are we What are we playing here? We, I think we're just opening Siren Song, right? Siren Song, Fizz. I can kill his 2-3. His Probably won't, though. Probably wait to kill him. If it's the only unit attacks with, I'll go for it. Sure, sure, man. Stop, White Dale. Yeah. Bigger Fizz seems pretty good. Let Fizz out of. Every, dude, every, I'm ruined because every time I hear a Fizz voice line in game now, I think someone followed me. Just because that's my follow sound effect. <laughs> Just one of my mini follow alerts. Oh my. Is that good? That actually might be good. <laughs> there is no way. There is no way. What is that man's deck list? Hold on. I need to see his deck list. There is no shot that man actually just missed twice in a row. Oh no. 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 Not Senanasis. No. I think I think Barb Chain is gonna come in, in handy this match in particular. Pretty good starter hand if I just wasn't going against a deck that's full removal. I can still do like an insane fizz play here, but fizz is probably just gonna die instantly. <laughs> so is it really that insane? Probably not. Uh also he might have to die. That's gonna feel bad. Hopefully he doesn't. If he does, he's going down one mana gem the rest of the game. He does. not Let's go. I, I do wonder, like, does Senanasis start playing Bush Guy Deny? Probably not, right? I feel like because they're probably playing Undying, you still want to play Rite of Negation just to kill your own unit. That's got to make more sense. I'll drop this down there. And we'll Fizz next turn just so I can, like, threaten to play a spell to save him. We'll go pass um, Fizz into Buru. We really don't have any great spells to save Fizz, though. <laughs> should I? Should I be? Maybe I should be stacking the husk on something else. 
I'll drop Fizz. It might make more sense against this type of deck to stack the hus husk on something else, though. It's hard to say. Um, I guess I'll, I'll honestly just hit for six here. Instead of instead of like going too low on my my mana and letting him actually vengeance fizz or something, I'll just I'll just hit for six. If he's giving me a free attack, then I'll just go for it. Solid. All right, nice. I'll save this to pop on the next tusk we get. I guess I'll just drop Buru. The better the trophy. Could have saved Buru for um, the husk, though. Maybe we should have played this on the husk. Probably should have. It's fine. I'll do a little passing. I don't need to play Barb Chain yet. I'll try and save this just so we do have like an emergency fizz spell. We should... Ooh, that's good as well. Nice. Okay, so as long as we have three mana, we have an emergency fizz spell. Good to go. I might use this just to save Fizz. It's probably worth. If he goes for a vengeance or something that big here on Fizz, I will just play this. Quietus. Okay, interesting. I was gonna I was gonna drop a dark and ballista, but I guess not. Guess not. I guess I'll just play this on Fizz. Right? I guess I'll just play this on Fizz. If that's what you want, I guess I'll just play it on him. Sure. Don't blame me. This is what you chose. You said you wanted this, then. I guess this is what you get. Okay. Steam's dead. Rest in peace. This is probably where he drops his Senna. Or not. Cool, too. <laughs> guess I'll hit for eight. Guess I'll just hit for eight, then. What's he gonna do? Target my Fizz? Okay, that's fair. That works. Unless... Nah, it's not worth it. Well, I guess I could have given Fizz Might there. Might was actually probably the play. I should have gone for Might. I might have misplayed. And now he's got an Asus. Great. Alright. So we basically have to lethal this guy next turn. If we don't lethal him next turn, I think we lose. Let's see what we get off of this. Ooh, vulnerable. Spell Shield's nice, though. So is Scout, potentially, though. Is that ever... No, random weapon is never better than just Spell Shield. Let's just go with Spell Shield. Guaranteed Spell Shield on Fizz has got to be the best option there. That's insane. That's actually just insane. Fizz is unkillable now. That is what I was worried about, is Fizz dying in this matchup, so let's just make that not happen. Let's just guarantee that's not happening. I'll drop Samira. Probably will just pull in Nasus with Samira. Since we have something we can pull him in with. Hmm. Do I ever trade my Fizz with Nasus here? Judgment awaits. I don't think I can. But it's so tempting to do that. I honestly... I don't even know if we block here. I feel like we want to go as wide as we possibly can. I think we just gotta go wide. I think we win next turn. I just gotta hope he doesn't have uh, Spirit Fire. That's the only thing that could ruin me here. Is as long as as long as he doesn't play Telstones into Spirit Fire, we're good. That's the one thing that we're potentially losing to. I'll just drop this for like maximum draw next turn. Might as well. This Fizz has Spell Shield. If I really need to, I can flare this turn just to save him from something weird. Um, okay. I mean, those are not worth dropping. We just obviously obviously open attack. Uh, go for Challenger. And then we do have a Rally. So I think we just went off of Rally. I think that's the plan. I'm gonna give Might to Fizz. Just to threaten Lethal. Actually, I did... I should have I should have actually left it as is, because I could have threatened Lethal with Flare. Which you might have forgotten. Since Samira gets another Flare. But alright, GG's. <laughs> nice. We hit it anyways. That's insane. The fact that a Samira Fizz deck was able to beat Nasus Senna. That should not have happened. <laughs> like, Siren Song 100% carried the game. Dang, actually, Shellshocker into Dark and Ballista is really good. I didn't realize how good that combo was in this deck. I already knew Shellshocker into Blood Letters is good in our Azir deck that we played. Or Azir Nidalee, but this is this is insane as well. Four damage turn one. <laughs> Pretty good. It's 
pretty good. That's not, uh, it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. Especially when we got a little siren song coming up. Oh. Hey. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you control? Are you trying to control me? Are you trying to play control right now? Are you trying to be the control player? <laughs> is that what this is? How dare you? Uh, alright. I mean... Who would win? A 1-4 or C. Or a 5-2... Oh. Rip. Well, <laughs> I guess we know who wins. Um, yikes. Okay, it's team top deck. So I have to play Steam this turn. I was a little bit worried about playing Pool Shark last turn, just because if we hit a 4-drop this turn, kind of forces us to play it. It's not the worst, but it's just like, yeah. Is it the best? I actually think Steam was a huge top deck here. Steam was... Oh my... I'm about to have the biggest Samira known to man. Alright, that's messed up. You would really rather spend 4 damage on my husk. That's what you want to spend 4 damage on. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that's worth it? Alright, I'll just go with double trouble and hit ballista on something. Both of these have vulnerable. Ooh. Ooh hoo, hoo, hoo. Faded guy. Hey there, faded guy. Look at that. He is ready. I can actually kill both of these this turn, probably. I'm gonna go for a kill on this with, with Steam. And then pull with the Fury. And we just kill the other one. And we hit Fade. Dude, I mean... Come on. What's not to love about this deck? It's so, it's so much fun, man. Siren Song is just giga broken. It is actually just insane. The amount of value I have right now, <laughs> compared to, okay, compared to the lack of value this man has, is just nuts. It's unbelievable. Ain't no fight I can't win. I guess we'll okay. We'll pop this on Steam so he can't pull Steam. I mean, he can, but he's gonna be one HP. Drop Samira, <laughs> and then we'll just play Dark and Ballista like a bunch of times, and she'll probably level up. Uh, that's another funny thing about this, is we can just, like, cycle Ballistas if we really want to level her. I'm probably not gonna do that, but, like, I could if I wanted to. This is pretty cool to just have, like, a bunch of one-mana weapons in a Samira deck. Ooh, it's also pretty cool to have Might. That might come in handy. <laughs> it might. It really might. Rickshaw. Now we'll wait and see if he like hushes or something, then we'll go for might. Recall. And now we hit the might. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Look at that. So he's probably gonna stun. Like I don't think we win here, but Okay, here comes the hush. That's still like it's cool to be able to threaten that. It's insane. This guy's definitely uh definitely in a pickle at the moment. He's definitely in a pickle. He is in a bit of a pickle. Uh Samir's not gonna level though, unfortunately for us. I don't think we double barb chain this turn, do we? Ismir's dead. Uh, I actually will double barb chain then. If he's if he's, if he's killing my Samira, I need to find more value. So I think we just go boom. Just double barb chain. Give me <laughs> give me cards. <laughs> I need cards. Give me the value. Where's that? Let me see the value. There we go. That's nice. Look at that. Just like that, I have I have more units. Unbelievable, isn't it? Saw you at me. <laughs> he pulls my tentacle. Imagine pulling my tentacle not knowing another Samira is about to be here. Imagine. <laughs> nice fit. Is it for it's all beautiful. That daring espionage? Nice shoes. They for kicking the eyes out of spiders. They for kicking the eyes out of spiders. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we just go wide and we win here. Drop ballista on something. <laughs> Dude, why do I, I keep I keep getting this guy so much? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how many times I've found this this little rat. It's insane. Uh, do I ever? I feel like we almost like equip more ballistas to things, but that's gotta be just greed, right? Like, there's no way that's actually worth doing. Probably just always go for the uh, open attack, full set with Samira. Hope for the best. Like, we're threatening so much damage. 
There's no way it's correct to to do anything but open attack here. Okay, so heals for heals for three. He's gotta have like double stun if he wants to live. Okay, Set's still dying. Only two HP. He's still dying. Samir has still got just a clean kill on him. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man. This deck is just nuts. It's insane. I love it, man. I love it. I love I love this deck. I never thought I would say it, but I love Samira Fizz. I love Samira Fizz.